Hi everybody, welcome to Plumbush Farm. I'm Gabe. Today, I'd like to work at building a bridge between me and you. Yeah, I mean that literally. Check it out. We have a problem. And the problem is our bridge is too short. When we get a big rain, the water comes up, sometimes up about this high, and our bridge tries to float away. Now we pulled it back up here and we shoved a few things in to try to hold it in place. But this bridge is not long enough. It's not stable enough. And the other problem we have is the goats refuse to cross it if they have to get their toes wet. Goats hate water. They don't even hardly like to drink it. And they certainly don't want to walk through it. So today we're going to throw a bridge up over this ditch. Something a lot more permanent and a lot better than what we've had. Come along. And I have a bunch of two by fours that we're going to put on crossways like this after we have all those two by eights on. And this fence right here, we're going to have more two by eights going down to the ground here. On this end, I think we'll just cut them so they go into the ground. Any good bridge has to have a good foundation. That's what I've got here. Well, to be completely honest, I would rather be building a bridge right now, but I have a daughter who last night asked me if I would please try to build her a little house for her to play with her Fisher-Price uh, people. So they have their little cars and their Fisher-Price people that they play with. Now, we have a Fisher Price house that they can play with. But one thing I've discovered about my children is it's always more fun to use your imagination than to use someone else's. So, well, you got to have a bed for your people to lay on. I figured they need a table to gather around, so I guess that's going to be the table. And I suppose some kind of a cook stove would be nice. Seems like you need that. I'm wanting to get back to my bridge project pretty soon. All right, I think that'll make a little cook stove. Let's have that be a little cook stove, shall we? Okay, back to the bridge project. I am going to start right here. I wanted my bridge to come from about right here and go straight on out. So I just have to dig in here and set some cement for my posts that my bridge, so my bridge has a good solid foundation. So if my post is right there, it would be five inches short of four feet. That would be four feet, seven inches to the outside of my post here. So right here where my foot is, that's where the second little cement pillar goes. That's, that's edge of post. And I think that's gonna work. Okay, my bridge is gonna span to right here. And then from this point, we're gonna have a six foot slope going back down to ground level. So now I've got, I'm getting a little bit of a trench here. And the purpose of this trench is I'm gonna put cement down in here. And then I want to put my posts on the cement. And I want them down far enough that I can fill a little bit of dirt around them so those posts can't just move sideways very easily. I've got this dug down to where I have some nice solid clay under there. I don't think this is going to settle much on this end. And on the other end, I don't think it's going to settle much either, but we'll probably be closer to anchored to the ground on that end. So I think over here is kind of the important part for making sure that we're on a good solid footing. I am using some really bad lumber here. I got it for cheap at the lumber yard where we buy a lot of our lumber because I work at a trust shop. And uh, this is all stuff that they couldn't use because it's so bad. But I can use it. All right, 14 foot's going to put us right on that knot. OK, the way I'm going to put these beams on is one on each side of the post. I'm going to double them up. We're going to have three posts. We're actually going to have a total of six beams here. 
And the reason I'm building this so heavy is because I want to be able to drive my little lawn tractor across here if I decide to do that one day. By putting these blocks in here and screwing those two together, it does two things. Number one, while I'm putting this up, it gives me some stability so everything doesn't just fall over because as you can see, this is pretty all, all just pretty loose and wanting to fall down. The other thing it will do after this is built by putting these blocks in and tying these together, it makes these two beams work together as one unit when I drive across it or walk across it. I've determined that this is the height that I like, so I'm gonna have this height be where we start from, and we're going to, we're gonna base all the other four points of the bridge off of this height. Well, does that look level to you? That looks pretty level to me. All right, let's shoot a screw in. And how does that look? That looks close enough for me. All right, let's try shooting one in right there. That is perfectly level across here. Just what we are after. Perfect. Oh, that's dead on. All right, now we just have to do the other end and we will have it leveled up. Well, the sun's getting higher and my dock is, oh, wait a minute, that's not a dock. That's a bridge. My bridge is improving slowly, but I've still got a lot to do on it. I'm just about ready to put the middle section of beams in. Like I said, I want this thing to be strong. Maybe we'll do a time lapse of me putting this in. You can see just how long it takes me and how many times I go back and forth. We have this, all the posts in, all the beams hooked onto the posts. I've got it leveled up. Now, because I'm using such terrible lumber that I got cheaply, I'm dealing with stuff like this. So it's gonna take a little bit of straightening. It's gonna take a little bit of planing to take some of those high spots off and make this work. But for now, I've got it to where I can leave it alone while we go to town and have our lunch. I threw a couple braces on it in case the goats decide to come out and walk on it. Okay, let's go get our lunch. I'm in the shade right here. I don't even need that hat. We had a good lunch. I'm all cleaned up and everything, and now I'm gonna go right back into my mud puddle. Go ahead and put a hole in this to put a bolt through. Miles is getting that tightened up good and tight. So in addition to using the, the screws, we also are gonna put a bolt through each of these just to give it some extra holding power. And that looks really, really nice and tight you got it sucked we have our main frame of our bridge pretty well ready to deck but on the far end here i need to work at the boards that are going to take us down off the deck <laughs> got our end ramp hooked on here and there's just one thing I'd like to do yet and that is in these corners here I want to put some four by fours vertical that are just standing down on the ground if we drive onto the end of this with our mower I don't want it to tip off of the posts that are farther back and have that far end of the bridge trying to lift off I don't think that would happen but a few more supports out here aren't gonna do us any damage. So that's the next thing. So I just wanna make sure that this four by four gets down here on the ground and gets set down good and firmly. I'm not necessarily trying to drive him into the ground. I just want him to be able to for sure be solid on the ground. So he's doing me some good later on actually. And we're just gonna drive a couple screws in. 
All right, that adds some support, helps us out so that those posts back there aren't the only thing holding this end of the bridge up. Well, you know, I just had to check and see if my level was good. And of course, what better way to check the level than to measure to the water? So from the bottom on this side, I'm just touching the water there. I'm eight and three quarter inches. Now let's check on this side. And as long as our water's level, it ought to measure the same. So down till we just touch the water. I have eight and 11 sixteenths. I'm one sixteenth off of level here. Either that or this water isn't level. I think probably my level's right and the water's off, don't you? That's gonna wrap it up for today because we have places to go tonight. We got it all braced up good and all I have to do is clean up my tools, head out. Next time we come back and work on this, we are gonna be ready to put the deck on it. All right, welcome back, I'm back. That didn't take long, did it? Well, this afternoon I'm planning to slap a deck on this bridge. So right behind me I've got approximately 60 boards cut to four feet long. And according to my math, that comes out just about perfectly for 20 feet of bridge, which we've got right here behind us. So I'm gonna get started on that. It's a pretty straightforward process. I might just set up a time lapse and you can watch it happen. Well, while we were working, we took a short little break and the goats came out here and they discovered the bridge and they are having so much fun checking it out. Only I don't quite have it done yet, so we're gonna have to try to kick them off of there while we finish. But these guys think that this is the most fun they've had in a long time. I wonder if there's any troll under that bridge. Come on, Joseph, what are you doing here? What in the world, guys? We kind of need to work here. Do you mind? Oh, what are you gonna do, Cassie? Eat that up? Oh, hi. Here's the best thing that they've figured out about this bridge yet. And that is, from the bridge, they can reach more leaves that they were not able to reach before. Boy, it didn't take them long to figure this out. Climb up on the bridge and jump up and down and start pulling leaves off the trees. All oh, goats love leaves. They just love them and they stand on each other's backs. <laughs> oh, it's so much fun. They love this, but we have to finish it. So I'm gonna have to try to get them to stay out of my way while I work. That's gonna be a challenge, I bet. They're coming and they're trying to eat our screws. Well, they don't eat them, they just pick them up and then they drop them, which is not very good because I really don't wanna have to step in a screw. Okay, guys, I'm gonna set up a time lapse so we can keep working. We just got her finished up, and let me tell you, they aren't wasting any time. They came running across right as I finished up. And I can see that this bridge is gonna be a source of entertainment for these goats for at least a while here, because they are enjoying themselves. Just can't beat new access to fresh leaves. Okay, Karen, could you grab that clamp and bring it? I'll take these things. Excuse me, goats, coming through. You know, I'd kind of like if they would eat that off. Now all of a sudden we're too tall to walk under here. We're gonna need to trim those branches back. 
I mean, guys, I think we are ready to clean up. Get rid of all of our junk out of here. Pick up our scraps, pick up our tools. We are ready to head out. All right, this is nice. Wow. Look at that. It's just the perfect height to keep my feet above the water. Well, this has been a fun project and we enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed coming along and watching us. Have a good one. We'll see you later.